like uh, i am able to hear some noises in the background uh, i'll mute those guys oh, okay sir yeah okay so i'll start uh, first uh, thank you for all for coming here like uh, and attending this uh, i'll start with an introduction and then uh, after introducing myself you can ask any questions which you have and i'll try to answer them so i am shyam my father's name is sandil kumar and my mother's name is sangeeta my dad was an ex service man like uh, he used to be a soldier in indian army uh, he did some special and stuff um uh, what happened sir like am i audible yeah okay so uh, and my mom uh, is a literature teacher mm, i'm not as good uh, in literature as she was so engineering and i'll tell you something about my uh, st- uh, schooling and stuff like in plus 2 i uh, studied in kendriya vidyalaya which is a, uh, which is a cbse syllabus and i secured only like 428 out of 500 so i specifically put this here because i used to be very sad that i got this marks in my uh, uh, when i was a small kid like but it just uh, numbers doesn't matter that much right so after that i started working hard for my you know future and career so that's how i got at to now and then i joined shastra university in 2016 i took aerospace uh, because i loved aerospace from my childhood uh and currently i have a cgpa of 9.16 uh, still uh, uh, there is on uh, review pending for our main project so after that only we will be getting our degree and uh, in gate uh, i attended the, this is the, my first attempt in 2020 and i secured r2 and recently i got offer from indian institute of science for mtech in aerospace uh, which i have accepted next um, i'll say something about gate generally in numbers so you might be wondering like what are these circles first i'll try to explain one by one uh this exam is just 10800 seconds like people say that it's 3 hours okay yeah same 3 hours but try to see it in seconds like while in the exam hall you will not have you know hours of times you will have, you will uh, like each question you will be solving within a minute or so so always uh, look it in seconds uh the question paper like uh, most of you might have known this uh, i am just repeating again so just to say how i performed so there are 31 mark questions and 35 two mark questions so combined it was 65 like in the current scenario uh, the total mark is 100 what you see here in the right sides are how i performed actually so see there are uh, uh, the yellow circle shows uh, 27 into 2 that means like i got uh, 27 two mark questions correctly and 23 one mark questions correctly uh, this orange is uh, for first one mark questions and the yellow is for two mark questions like while evaluating yourselves in mock test i think it is kind of a better way uh, and there are numerical types and multiple choice questions so multiple choice questions uh, if you answer it wrongly you will lose marks you will have negative marks but numerical types you don't have negative marks uh, so uh, i uh, made mistakes in three numerical ty- uh, numerical type questions in uh, one marks and i didn't attend five of the two marks because i did not lose marks and also i uh, lost uh, three questions in numerical types uh, the purpose of preparing and uh, uh, thinking about numbers in gate is to reduce the negative marks uh, as you know like mostly people will get very high positive marks but uh, again the negative marks will also be high and the whole mark will come down so what wow. i prepared heavily to reduce the negative mark and that's what i did as you can see i did only four uh, uh, questions wrongly which gave me negative marks so this was my score 75.667 um that score is uh, uh, all india rank 2 so and even before starting to prepare uh, i had a aim of getting 75.66 like it was not exactly the same number around 75 um and just uh, whatever i planned i have done it here I'll tell something about my preparation. Okay, uh, my preparation was not a straightforward thing. Like uh, I didn't start from one point and I didn't reach the end. It was a cycle. It's a combination of steps, and every time I do something, I'll go back and I'll repeat the same things from first. So first part is studies. So many people think studies is the only part in preparing for gate. Um, I'll tell you, it is an important part, but there are other parts too. so in studies what i followed is i printed the gate syllabus 
first thing to note down like uh, what are the topics i have covered and if you don't prepare all the topics in the uh, gate syllabus like it will be very hard for you to get uh, top 10 or so so take a print print a syllabus and just see all the words and uh, make sure that you know all the words and their deep, deep meanings which are required for the exam and i prepared calendar like uh, i i think uh, sir will have prepared for you guys or you might have to prepare for yourself the calendar is like uh, i'll set goals or something like every day um, say one topic i have to finish it by today like that um like that i prepared a calendar and uh what, most important thing in studies was making my own notes like i had access to my uh, seniors notes and also my uh, mentors note but uh, you know it is something different if you prepare your own note like the depth of the knowledge that you gain while preparing your own note is far more than reading from someone else's note uh so even if you are using someone else's note try to study the book and try to make your own uh, notes like you still have time and stick to the plan whatever you plan like try to follow it and if you are not able to follow let's say uh today i wanted to prepare aerodynamics or uh, about related topics and if i skip that uh i we should not stagnate like we should not uh, push all the other plans ahead uh, we should stick to the plan and whatever we missed on that day i throwed it to the last like uh, after preparing and then i throwed it okay uh, the questions i'll answer after this and the second most part is the mental health of uh, students and uh, anyone who prepares it mental health in the sense uh, see uh, even if you study everything on the exam hall like uh, it's not uh, certain that you will remember everything and you will be able to solve swiftly like almost all the questions which you are going to see in the hall is a new question so such new questions like you can solve only if you have you know peace of mind and uh, um, problem solving attitude so first thing i want to mention about mental health is decision fatigue so this decision fatigue is uh, actual phenomena where uh, a person or any human like uh, in that case uh, will have some limit only a limited number of decisions which we can make per day let's say uh, we can make only 500 decisions properly and the next decision which we make after making those many decisions will be not as good as uh, uh, we would have made before so let's say choosing a dress or even uh, choosing what to eat is and decision right so those things will uh, have strain in our brain and unless we sleep and wake up again uh, we will not be able to make decisions continuously so decision fatigue uh, why i mentioned here is like during the exam days i didn't uh, uh, bother myself for uh, choosing what to do or what to wear or anything i only prepared and i was like waiting for the exam and uh, i took rest before exam i went to the exam hall i only thing in my mind was the questions in the exam hall that's it so while uh, uh, pro preparing also like if you try to avoid questions for other stuff it will be better so that uh, um, you will be focused more on the things which where you have to decide like uh, critically and one week of cool down uh, i think most of us will follow that like uh, before exam uh, one week at least seven days before exam you have to stop preparing and just relax if you continue to study till the last hour uh, it won't give you fruit uh, whatever you prepare at the last two hours or three hours of exams like you won't even remember during the exam it will even if you remember that it will make you forget the things which you learned in the past so do revision and uh, keep the calendar like uh, before one week of the exam so that uh, you will have this cool down time so at that time uh we'll be like uh, preparing our brain for writing the exam alone not just for uh, uh st studying or anything the studying part is different from problem solving part so to solve problems you should come out of the studies mind and uh, we have to start thinking on uh, using the thing which we know already and subject familiarity as i said before uh we need a printed gate syllabus because like we can see uh, all the topics which we have covered or not and familiarity uh, is for even if we are weak in some a certain topic it is not advisable to skip that topic so let's say uh, i was very weak in fluid dynamics uh, some parts and uh, say poisson lewis flow a uh, flow bit uh, through a pipe or so so if i'm not good at solving that problem that doesn't mean that i have to skip this so some people might think if we skip some topic we will get time uh, more time for the topics which are good at and uh, we can uh, uh, use that for scoring good but if you are not familiar with all the topics it won't be good uh, if you are familiar with some topic even if you are bad in the topic uh, 
anything can happen in exam hall just by knowing some formulas of, of the topic and having some understanding of how that works uh, in the hall it can be numerical type questions suddenly so numerical types don't have any negative so we have to attend them at the time like if you are familiar with that you can uh, easily attend and there's a high chance that you may get good uh, uh, like increase in mark because of that also so be familiar with every topic in the subject and uh, always have an air one attitude like never aim for less than one uh, have aim for one and it doesn't matter even if you don't get even i didn't get air one so just have an attitude of air one with that uh, you will be like uh, less stressed actually uh, think like you can get it uh, only if you think you can then you will actually uh, get it and be humble like even if you finish preparations like two months before or three months before uh, don't think like you know everything and um, like avoid uh, people or avoid uh, preparations like be humble and think like uh, i used to think like uh, i'm not ready yet and uh, till the last one week i used to like ask people and uh, uh, clear all the doubts which i had and that's a good thing like even if someone is not preparing for gate or if someone is uh, not good at uh, many subjects they may have something and uh, only we can gather information from them only if we are humble enough so that's the thing for mental health and time management so anyone who wrote a uh, gate 2020 will know like um, the main problem they faced was time management so time management in the sense like both for preparation and also for writing the exam uh, for writing the exam obviously like you have to take a lot of mock tests and test series and you have to attend them sincerely so only if you uh, take mock tests you will get to know how the time flows while you are solving the problems uh, the time runs differently when you are preparing for exams and also while writing the exam uh, these things will get only familiar if you are writing mock tests and buffer days for uh, preparations so like a uh, buffer days in the sense uh, uh, as i said before i made a calendar but also i had some 15 days in the calendar empty so those empty days uh, are for the topics which i skipped during the preparations so whenever i skip a topic i'll uh, uh, um, keep it in the buffer day and i'll study the topics which i missed before in the buffer day buffer day is good even if you don't skip any topic because uh, that cool down time will help you you know see the uh, syllabus or see the subject in a different angle uh, see if you study one subject uh, once totally if you study it again you will be able to find the things which you have missed before so those things will happen only if you have some buffer days at the end and group studies group studies is very effective believe me like uh, my preparation was like 50 percent uh, solo study and 50 percent group study and when i did group study like i learned a lot more than i uh, tried when i did in solo so group study is very effective like try to have a healthy group which is having a same mindset and prepare together and multiple revisions like revisions one or two uh, i never did this many revisions for any other exams uh, only for gate i did like three revisions and that paid off a lot i felt the difference like during the exam hall like all the questions were familiar and it was easy to solve because i did multiple revisions so try to do that and physical health uh, another important parameter which people uh, forget to you know notice so first thing i did was no junk food for the preparation time try to do it like most people cannot but uh, it's a good thing to avoid junk food and i slept properly like six to eight hours every day if you don't sleep properly first thing is stress second thing is like uh, will not be fast enough or we will not be you know, efficient enough in preparing or writing exams so sleep is very important and active like during preparation always be physically active i'm not saying like lift weights or something just be physically active like take a walk or move from a place if you sit in the same place uh, not only your body lacks your brain also lacks along with it so stay active physically and i did light exercises like uh, before i used to like uh, i'm a gym person like uh, not heavy gym person like a light gym person uh if i do heavy exercise like i felt like uh, i was not able to concentrate on exam or i was not able to concentrate on studies itself my physical physical tiredness my preparation so i suggest you to avoid heavy exercises and go for light exercises which is good and let's go back to numbers so these are the topics like uh, maths light map and space dynamics aerodynamics and structures progression for aerospace gate syllabus and uh, it's approximately like the first number says the core subjects uh, and core topics 
and the second number says the special topics. So this is uh, approximate measure and total of 157 core topics and 22 uh, subtopics. So I can approximately say it is around 90 plus 10. So why? Because uh, say in fluid dynamics, uh, in potential flow itself, we have three different domains, or three or four uh, different elementary flows. That is the vortex flow, uh, sink source, and all those things. So these topics, now you can study them combined. So always linking the subject is very important. And uh, when they are under the same domain, so you can study them together. Like if you know source flow, it is easy to uh, study about sink flow. So those kind of things will condense the number of topics and the number of topics will be like 100. So which you can prepare, I think like a one topic a day is very less, uh, I mean, very easy to prepare. So that would take roughly like three months or so, or more than three months, a little bit to prepare everything from first itself. So the time for preparation uh, won't be uh, like a tedious thing if you are preparing daily. So consistency is the key, like prepare daily. I prepare daily for the exam. Uh, and this is how I spend my time. So I prepared for four months, I'll tell the truth. Uh, I didn't, uh, I mean, sincerely. Before that, I tried to prepare, but not that sincere. Uh, so in that time, 52% of my time was for making notes alone. So as I said, like when I make notes, I won't read formulas. Uh, I'll uh, see the steps and I'll uh, try to remember the concepts. And during the time when I made all the notes, I almost uh, knew all the topics. But still, there were some uh, uh, missing topics as well as uh, I didn't remember any formulas. Remembering formulas, you can, I did it in the revision time only. Uh, when I was making notes. I got familiar with everything. Uh, and then after finishing the notes, uh, I started doing revisions. So revision takes lesser time if you have your own notes because you will know all of them. Just you have to remember the formulas. So reading the formulas is far easier than uh, preparing the topics. So that's what I did. And then uh, group study was uh, one big thing. So group study will help you to learn topics which you are very bad at. Um, so in my fluid dynamics, I strengthened it using my friend who was good in fluid dynamics. But he was weak in some other uh, subjects which I was good at. So we shared our knowledge. So that's how group study works. Uh, sharing of knowledge. And also when you teach someone, you will be more strong in the same subject. Uh, it's like uh, teaching will always give you and give the other also. It will not be like you are giving them. It will be like giving to both of yourselves. And then question paper solving. Like I think uh, you people might have start, started already. If not, uh, it's better to start. Like uh, uh, question paper solving will give you understanding of what are the topics that are there and uh, what are the topics which are missing. Uh, so question paper solving is a very important thing. And remaining uh, time I spent for buffer. Five percent of the total four months was for buffer. Uh, it was in between uh, revision and uh, group studies and also even between making notes. So those buffer days, as I said, it will compensate for the things which you are going to miss. Uh, it is 100% uh, it is not possible to follow the schedule which you make continuously. There will be some special days or some you know bad days where we are not able to follow the schedule. So buffer days is very important. So that's why I spent 5%. Uh, like 5% is a lot of time for buffer, but it works, it helps. So I'll share some struggles and also supports I got. So first struggle is uh, I started late. Don't do this. Like uh, I started late because uh, I thought like it won't be that tough. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, slightly overconfident. But thing, uh, the thing is uh, starting late, I regretted a lot while preparing. Like the time runs like uh, I started counting my days for the gate exam. It was like uh, it started from I think 150 or something. So it, it went, 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 it, uh, the number became two digits and it became one digit. So that is a very scary thing to do. If you have more time, a lot of ample time, you can prepare early and uh, you can, you know, relax a little bit before exam. So I think I would have got like at least three or four marks more if I had prepared earlier. Uh, don't take this as a solution. Like, uh, take this as a, uh, things not to do uh, by seeing someone who did something wrong. Uh, so don't start late, start preparing early. Like uh, people who have, not prepared very well till now, start preparing very well. So everyone is going to start. Um, it's better to start trying by yourself. Like, don't wait for the time to you know, come to your doorsteps. So then I stopped watching anime and video games. Like uh, <laughs> some people might not know what is anime and video games. Like 
those are my hobbies like my favorite things which i do in my uh, you know free times and all so it was very hard to uh, get rid of all those hobbies and uh, you know interests but the, sometimes we have to do what we have to uh, uh video games it's uh, not just these things like if someone has some other hobby which is going to uh, make you spend more time on that like using some phone or just chatting with people so all these things i avoided them uh and it was hard to do that it's surely hard you have to acknowledge that it is hard it is not easy to you know, uh, lose something which you love but uh just avoiding them for some time will help you you know uh, to achieve your goals uh it will be very hard at the starting days and after some time it will be like uh, okay after some time it will be familiar uh so that's the one of the major struggles i faced and <laughs> there was no holiday in my dictionary so in those since i started late uh for preparing i didn't have any holidays like i used to prepare in uh, my uh, university uh, structures lab so my lab in charge was sheri sir and uh, uh when i prepared uh, even in sundays i used to come from morning 7 to uh, evening 9 like i used to travel to my uh, uh, lab uh, from my home like i was a day scholar so i had to travel like two hours every day uh the the two hours the only two hours i actually enjoyed or <laughs> not enjoyed i should not say that i just i didn't think of anything like other times i will be like thinking of either gate or i'll just uh, do some other work in bus travel i used to take rest so there was a two hour rest for me every day apart from sleep and i didn't have any holiday uh, even in winter holidays i used to go to class and that was hard like even in winter holidays like no one will be there in the university or no one will be there in the bus uh but still uh, i avoided those holiday stuffs and i focused on preparation i prepared taking rest is important but that doesn't mean that you have to take rest by taking holidays you can take rest during your sleep uh, extend your sleep time or take a rest uh, by taking some break in between studies but don't take the whole day as a holiday and criticisms like if you are preparing hard then your friends or even your uh, people who are around you they will start saying like you are preparing late so you think you will get good marks like all those things will come uh, even you will face after some time so those things and all like it's better to avoid them and i try to avoid them so uh, one more thing is like i said uh, during winter holidays i used to come to sastra and uh, the winter holidays are the time for people who write arrears like i'm not saying arrear is bad but uh, if you don't have arrear and if people say that you have arrear like everyone who saw me during winter holidays they will ask me like which subject m3 i m4 <laughs> so it was like that it was hard for me so but i managed it like first 3 days i was very sad and uh, i used to try to argue to them and i used to say them that i'm preparing for this gate exam so uh, i am working hard and i'm preparing so all those stuff i used to say them like i'll explain the whole people to them but after 3 days i was like okay so uh, it's hard to explain to every new person so i just agreed to them <laughs> like in the third day one person asked me like why did you come here i guess it are your exam just literally i agreed before they even started asking the question so that's how i you know, just avoided that thing uh, so criticism misunderstanding is something which everyone will face we have to face it like uh, to worry about them it happens and pressure of expectations like uh, during the last month or uh, second last month people were like saying you are preparing for like this much time you are preparing hard so you will get a lot all like that so that outside pressure is fine outside pressure is manageable but inside pressure is very hard like when we want to get marks there will be pressure for sure but we have to do something to avoid our pressure side it's few stuff like uh, playing uh, i mean i uh, like walking out uh, uh, breathing fresh air and all those stuffs uh, and sleeping whenever i feel bad <laughs> so all these things we have to do to avoid our pressures not from outside from internal also you know internal pressure is very hard to you know control so these are the struggles i faced and now i'll say some supports i got first thing is first and foremost i have to thank vm shreer sir he uh, worked very hard for you know making me study like he is the one who forced me to come to shastra during holidays and stuff so he was a gate ranker he got i think at 26 so 23 uh, and uh, since he uh, had prepared for gate just like me he knew like what are the mistakes people will do and what not to do and how i should prepare how much time i should spend and all those things and uh, he used to some uh, trigger me like uh, you are only preparing for 3 hours you have to prepare more than that like that all those things will be there so uh, having a mentor who has a gate experience is very good like uh, they will know what to do and uh, they will tell you how to do uh, 
um that's a uh, major support i got and the next is uh, generally like since i'm aerospace student uh, my subjects are directly uh, uh, inclined towards gate so many subjects like aerodynamics fluid dynamics and uh, space flight dynamics and all those things uh, i had good teachers and i studied from them directly so i didn't have much struggle in them especially space flight dynamics like there are i think seven topics or so so all those topics i had prepared already in my class like in my regular subjects so since i had that uh, i didn't even uh, need a book for preparing for gate i just uh, took my own on uh, text notes and from the notes i prepared <laughs> good taste and balanced diet so good and tasty is fine but balanced diet is important like don't go for full carbs or full proteins or full fat just have a balance of everything it will uh, one thing keep you healthy second is uh, it will make your brain active like having something too much will be like you know spoiling our uh, brain's activeness and stuff so i always had a balanced diet i used to eat from home so my mom's a good cook <laughs> so that's how i uh, that's one of the biggest support i got and encouragements from close ones so when we have a peer group or you uh, know just uh, classmates or someone who are very good at uh, um, making you happy at critical times it is fun so stress releaser activities like going out as i said before and sometimes i'll go for tea also and uh, we used to make jokes and make fun of subjects and if you have noticed like i think in 2007 or 2008 papers there were some mistakes in questions and we used to play a prank like uh, i'll we'll give that question to some people and uh, we'll ask them to solve and they will struggle hard but they will never be able to solve because that question was wrong in the start so just those things were like there um, these fun stuff will uh, you know keep us going forward instead of you know feeling sad and stagnating preparing will not be that happy and all but uh, we have to find happiness even in critical places and not much force from parents i have to say this for sure uh, what happened was on i think month of may or so like after the exam we had answer keys uh, no it was in the march so the answer key uh, was i think private answer key the answer key uh, when my dad checked it like i was not there in home my dad and my brother checked the answer keys and they found that i got 23 marks so that was not even a qualified marks and they tried to avoid it uh, they said that uh, they didn't want me to get hurt so they they didn't even say that the answer key got out later i found that my dad uh, found the answer key and then he checked the answer key. so first thing uh, why i got uh, that much less than the first uh, answer key is like my parents didn't know that uh, the answers will also get swapped uh, the questions will be swapped for sure that they knew and they searched the questions but even the answers options will be swapped that is like the a option in my question paper will not be the same as a option so those things were there uh, and then i uh, told them that uh, what you did is wrong and i uh, told them my actual marks and stuff using the answer key but what i'm saying is uh, my parents are not that much forceful to me like they were uh, taking things light and what they wanted was uh, me to be happy and uh, that's what every parent wants like everyone wants you to be happy so uh, remember that and keep it as a support that's what i did and great study mates as i said the team study was very good and my study mates were uh, i'll say the names uh, rishita uh, shrivatsan sandhya akash and rohit so all these people they studied with me and um, like they also got good gate scores around like hundreds uh, and uh, one person got 26 so uh, we all prepared together and uh, pre- having a happy group which will keep you mentally stable and also you know help you study is a uh, good thing so try to have that group with you um if there's no group it's fine like you can uh, always prepare on your own but having a group is slightly more advantageous than studying on uh, your own so these are the uh, this is the presentation which i prepared and so now we can have question sessions uh, so thank you again um, i'll start answering the questions like i hope uh, I, the ppt has answered some of your questions and we'll go uh, will not delay any further and go to the answers yeah thanks uh, it's really tremendous uh, you shared each and everything what you <coughs> have gone through so i'm thankful and hopefully it is useful to everyone so some of the questions are there in chat box uh, just you have yes, to look and then answer one by one one second sir yeah in chat 
okay first question is uh, what is the most tough portion in the syllabus okay for me it was fluid dynamics like it changes with people it's not like a uh, topic is difficult after preparing i felt like it was easy but uh, the thing is like uh, like whatever we prepare it changes with person right so, and the first time when i saw it i saw only equations and it was scary for me uh, uh, so I, think, uh, i want to ask uh, like how did yes, you sir. manage your mock test Ah yes, can I actually, professionally uh, uh, professional help as of now I, I'm sure uh, I didn't hear you have taken any mm. professional help. Ah uh, yes, Are actually, you solely uh, focused on previous year's papers? Uh, no, because eighty uh, percent questions will be linked with previous year's paper mostly. Yes, sir. yeah. Ah, uh, first mock test I took was uh, in I think. 2018 gate uh, website itself in iatm website they yeah, had yeah. mock tests yeah so that was the first thing i took uh, but i was devastated then because it didn't show the marks it was just to you know experience the yeah. paper <laughs> it got turned off and uh, the after that my sir for uh, forced me to you know solve uh, gate question papers like the previous year question papers like i every day uh, after preparing uh, uh, the first time so every day i'll take 3 hours I had a printed copy of the question paper, and also I used gate calculator. That is so important thing. Like uh, people who didn't practice gate calculator didn't find time in the exam. So I used to open my laptop for gate calculator, and I used to have the printed copy of the previous question paper, and I'll solve them and I'll write them in my notes. And finally, after three hours, I'll check the answers. That's how I prepared sir for previous year question papers. Okay. So you have not done any online test series. uh no so actually i prepared late so i didn't have time i thought i had plans for uh, checking online test series but i didn't okay all right that's that mean again you went to our our time it was not there we also prepared <laughs> four people so the four people <laughs> one got rank 2 one got rank 7 one got 15 i was rank 41 so that's really group studies helps and uh, the same case was sri hari also when he prepared mm, yes. he, the jafar siddiqui was his very good friend so he got rank 8 then sri hari got mm. and then uh, two three of his friends also got very good rank and uh, uh, i prepared one document in 2010 um, get aerospace decoded so that means i prepared okay. every topic what book what chapter has to study so that okay. i carried uh, to these guys wh- when i was at iit and uh, to sri hari sir i taught uh, aircraft structures okay uh, for <laughs> his uh, graduation like uh, for you so mm, yes, at that time i was against this professional coachings and all okay i used to tell why because we prepared self and it was possible so the same thing mm. i convert but after that i felt people has made it market they are charging 46 40 50000 whatever fee they want to charge and open the center the many places then in uh, late 2016 we came up with this idea iitians gate classes in bangalore and uh, we started our journey so we are happy uh, whatever best reasonable fee we take from students and we do it and uh, uh, we are getting good response and comparatively uh, any other place Uh, whoever join us they they are all happy okay some of your uh, uh, sastra guy also joined uh, uh, your senior one sri devi one girl was there she got uh, oh, yes, uh, some rank 200 she joined the series one guy travel all the way uh, every week uh, you know from your college but that didn't work actually that guy got okay. job actually he focused uh, finally on you know campus placement and then joined so that but there there are two people sri hari and one more person mr ravi kumar yadav ah oh, yes sir he i think teaches propulsion and thermodynamics there mm, yes, sir. so he was also my friend and my roommate also in my graduation day in chennai oh okay so you studied together uh yeah actually we all from aeronautical society of india so sri hari and all were my juniors but ravi kumar yadav was our like classmate and he ravi also joined iit khadakpur then he joined sastra and sri hari even completed phd from there okay i'll not take much time uh, guys you can answer yeah mm, yes sir sure sir thank you sir and uh, next question is how should we go from starting problems to achieve accuracy within limits 
uh okay first thing we're solving problem is uh, almost all the questions in gate will take only like two steps if it takes more than two steps then you are doing it wrongly so keep that in mind I, I, that's what i kept in mind and I, I, re, i read the questions fully i used to read the questions fully and understand it deeply and uh, i'll start from like uh, which is the closest formula which i know to that so closest in the sense like you can start, uh, solve the same problem with a different formula also so while doing mock test you will understand that it is uh, easy to go with certain formulas and uh, not go with different things so that's how we have to solve like we have to first uh, make sure the closest formula to the problem is and then uh, uh, keep it to two steps at uh, minimal like sometimes it may go to three steps but it is very rare so that's how we started solving problems and i mean that's how the problem is approached accuracy in the sense like uh, since you are using calculator i think most it will be like pinpoint accurate like there won't be any much you know, approximations um, so i didn't feel any mis- uh, problems in accuracy so that's it like remember that it is two steps and follow that so next uh, uh, how should i manage internal tests semester exams along with prashno gate as i am in second year moving to third year okay so uh, i think anirudh k uh, so if you are from aerospace department it would be easy first thing uh, because whatever you have in the uh, subject exams those things will be inclined towards gate also so as i said before itself like i had aerodynamics and space flight dynamics so those things it will be easy to manage but if you are from other department or if you feel like you are uh, having some different subjects and you are preparing some other subject uh, try to reduce the content of preparation every day like uh, if you over exaggerate yourself and uh, have preparation t- schedule for like 3 or 4 hours during the preparation times for the semester it will be hard like uh, you have to uh, focus on your main semester also and also the gate so gate needs consistency you can spend time more uh, after uh, when you are free but still it needs consistency so even when preparing for your semesters uh, just spend at least one hour a day uh, or half an hour a day uh, to you know keep in touch with gate preparations and start making notes during the time where you have to study the main subjects so as i said making notes will not um, you know affect your uh, uh, memory or something Ma- making notes will just uh, increase your depth in understanding but you don't have to remember the formulas while making notes so when you are doing that in the side you can prepare for the main exam by remembering the things there uh, so that's how we have to manage the internal test and semesters uh, because like anyway at the end of the day challenges will be always there so we have to focus on both of them and keep your priorities straight if you are having idea of campus placements and also for gate you have to decide now uh, like this is the correct moment like whether you want to go for placements or you want to go for a non gate if you have both leg like in both sides of the river like you cannot walk forward uh, i first joined placements only because in placements they used to teach aptitude and aptitude was something which we needed for this exam and after that i dropped from the placements so if you are focusing on placements go fully for placements if you are focusing on gate go fully for gate like devote yourself for gate uh, so by avoiding things which are like uh, mostly avoidable like you can avoid but semester is not avoidable uh so the best thing is reduce the content and uh, prepare during uh, prepare every day slowly spend uh, more time on semesters and less time on this gate during the semester exam times okay uh, i started from i think frankly speaking i started from third semester like uh, third semester is when um, uh, i got to know about gate and uh, aerodynamics and structures but uh, it didn't go well because i didn't have enough knowledge of structures and aerodynamics on uh, that were, they were very difficult for me in my third semester so that's when i started but i started preparing sincerely uh, uh, during the end of seventh semester exams so i think it's in the month of november or so like just before november i started and even before that i tried to prepare both aerodynamics and structures i went 90% uh, but i didn't have proper notes and i didn't finish it fully so i started from my end of seventh semester sincerely and then i prepared well so but don't follow that uh, seriously don't follow that start preparing as early as you can like even if today or tomorrow if you are going to start you start that itself like don't wait for the end addiction should not 
yeah true addiction should not be there <laughs> but be addicted for gate <laughs> How to how you prepare for aptitude part? Yeah, <laughs> aptitude. Uh, uh, I cheated my placements and training uh, group. Like in the university, uh, they had placements and training, so I uh, enrolled my name for the placements, but uh, I didn't attend any company. I just went so that uh, they'll have uh, you know aptitude books and stuffs, and they'll teach us. So I went for that, and I just got a glimpse. But it was not. It is not a big deal actually. Aptitude is just uh, I think fifteen marks. Yeah, 15 marks of uh, gate syllabus. So I think uh, uh, aptitude, we have to prepare somehow, but uh, it is not too necessary compared to other subjects. So you can even study from you know previous question papers or uh, some any guide books, some small, small aptitude books will be there. Like a lot of them are there in the uh, internet. So aptitude won't be a problem. I think I prepared using placement uh, training. Can you suggest how to manage time during exam? So, is it uh teach, I think. So uh he asked during exams or during exam, which exam, semester exams or during gate exam? Okay, so I'll answer both. First thing uh, is gate exam. During gate exam, what I did was uh, I um, uh, there will be a wall clock in the exam hall. So everyone can see the clock, it will be in the center. Um I prepared uh, I uh, had a straightforward approach while writing the exams that is starting from the first question and going I mean reading first, and then start solving from the first to the first 30 and then I'll see the time so I solved the first 30 questions and I saw the time it was almost like two hours first thing I got scared because the, I didn't even attend the half of the questions but the time was more than half uh, so though, uh, I, uh, after that, I started you know, hurrying up and uh, doing stuff. And uh, within like 45 minutes, I had like 20 minutes extra after completing everything in first time. So the thing while exam is uh, you have a clock there, so it won't be a problem for you. Uh, but also, you know, try to uh, solve every questions and skip questions which you don't know. First thing, skip them. Even if you have plans of attending them before, there is an option called uh, uh, mark and uh, return back or something i am not sure exactly so it will be like skip and wait or so so you can go back and check the questions and you can solve it so first go straight see till the last question because till the last question there may be like easy question at the end so go every uh, all the questions and solve everything and then come back to the questions which you are not able to solve that's how you have to manage time yeah it's Did you study multiple subjects at a time or did you finish one after the other? Okay, one after the other. Multiple questions, multiple subjects are hard to prepare. Difference between gate calculator and calculator we use. Ah, yeah. So, normal calculators, you can, you have to write the number. Okay, you have to select the function, say sign, sign function, and then you have to write the number. But in gate calculator, it is in reverse. First, you have to give the number, then you have to give the operator. So it's like if you want to square a number, let's say some 73 square or 73 cube. First you have to type seven, uh, sorry 73, and then you have to give the cube. Okay, this more up to sign. So normal calculator, you have to put sign, and then you have to put the degrees. Uh, but in general, you have to type the degrees first, and then go for a sign operator. So it's like slightly reverse. If you start using get calculator like few times, then you will understand it. Uh, it will be slightly confusing at the start, but it is uh, actually very faster than the usual calculator once you get to use it. Hello, bro. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, uh, like, uh, can we download uh, Get Calculators uh, online also? Yeah, we can. Uh, yeah, that we is, can. Uh, uh, that is a uh, uh, website. Uh, I think. website I think. Uh, yeah. Either you can see them online or you can download them as a file and use it as a file. Uh, okay, uh, push again. Uh, one thing I want see the online calculator you can get in your mobile also. There are Android app, but actual comes when you use with mouse. That's tricky. Uh, typing every number with mouse. So push again. Don't worry. In our online test series, we have virtual calculator, and when you will write next year your all the exams, so you will get accustomed to that. Now also what you do in your laptop, you can 
download there are many website virtual calculator and start doing it from mouse there is no use of doing it from uh, touch screen type mm, because yes. the, the the real concern comes real concern comes when you sir we can also type you... from keyboard no sir no keyboard uh, no keyboard is not allowed oh keyboard won't work in keyboard won't work in exam you have to use a mouse and use a mouse and also try to uh, use different mouse so in the hall you will not know the sensitivity exact sensitivity so they will let you adjust it but it's preferable if you know how to operate different types of mouse so during the exam during the exam like you will be okay thank you uh i think uh, pushkar you are okay it was echoing your voice okay all right uh, so any other question is there uh, can you check mm, yes sir one second hello can you hear me yeah i think you have answered most of these uh, chat questions yeah guys anybody else who want to ask sakti prakash uh, sakti prakash sir pushkin speaking hello sir mm, hello yes, hello yeah uh... hello sorry it was not audible sorry it was not audible uh, yeah uh, can i get your details uh, if i if i have any doubt i will i can ask you. Uh, uh, Pushkin, you can, uh, contact, Pushkin, me you can contact me for this. Uh. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Any more questions? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. Uh, you said you didn't fit for placements. Uh, did you have any backup plan? Uh, yeah. Actually, I had backup plans. Like I thought, like if I'm not able to do this, I'll start preparing for ICRB. Like ICRB exams is for ISRO, a direct recruitment. But the thing is, uh, we cannot write it while preparing for. Uh, I mean, some sort of like uh, after getting the degree only you can apply. So but, let's say I am the fourth year student. I cannot write ICRB now. I have to wait one more year and then I have to write after I got the degree in my hand. So I thought like uh, if I didn't get good rank in gate, I thought uh, start. I wanted to prepare for ICRB. But ICRB and another have, thing uh, is the syllabus. syllabus is Mac stream. So yeah, mechanical. Yeah, we always say students uh, first focus on gate aerospace. Then next you can plan for that. So that means uh, anyway they have to spend uh, one year after that because that is again four years of mechanical stream. You have to be thorough and compete with lakhs of mechanical guys. Yes, sir. And uh, the most problem which people from aerospace department will face in ICRB is uh, material science and stuff. because yeah. that is not focused in aerospace so like two or three subjects will be completely new so those things will take time to prepare there are like uh, uh, because we have mechanical branch also and we have people from isro they teach so actually the complete module 4 it is called which has many subjects manufacturing industrial operation material mm-hmm. science metrology then machine design theory of machine Uh, only few common like fluid mechanics thermodynamics solid mechanics mathematics so that's where the problem comes but uh, have you any time contacted shyam or approach to isro any at high level why for aerospace they are not allowing uh, exam something can you write i will suggest since you are uh, uh, a top achiever write them we do not have easy opportunity to work in isro Uh, any yes, mechanical sir. guy can uh, i was always trying this movement but it has to be done by student why don't we yes. have a aero stream paper there though they uh, you know mechanical guys uh, they work in uh, you know space dynamics and all they never aware of that subject also yes sir so do so, write uh, uh, do write uh, proper mail to uh, their hr or is or chief as well Uh, considering since you already got in isc but uh, you had that plan and uh, there was a road back road block right yes mm, yes sir a big road block <laughs> yeah yes uh, sakti prakash uh, you carry with your question so guys uh, i will share my experience also uh, when we were preparing uh, for asi and even sri hari sir uh, whom uh, 
uh, you got mentor. We never had anything for placement. At least those who are in university, you guys have something called placement department and all. So for us, there was only one opportunity is was get, and we did it and we got succeeded. So when your goal is clear, there is no doubt. Uh, uh, there is no doubt in success because aerospace is one branch where if you are really sincere, there is a success because the number of appearance are less. The number of sincere people are less. I will say, even those who prepare with us uh, every year now last three years. Hardly 30 to 40 percent are sincere, and Shyam, those who all sincere, they everyone they get in IITs. So it's uh, in Gate Aerospace, it's more about sincerity and planning the way you have done, and many people are doing. And uh, prior we had uh, we have taught one chemical engineer. You know, you might have seen that PPT. He's he was chemical engineer in BTEC. We taught complete aerospace engineering in Bangalore in a six to eight months, and he got rank four. So it's, well. <laughs> it's all possible with efforts. Okay, so there is guidance. It's more about planning, hard work, and uh, execution. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. guys, so ask guys one more thing. Ask. One more thing. Hello. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, the reason I asked if you had any backup plan is because. Uh, to feel that uh, you know, uh, move that air out before you enter the exam hall for gate. Because when I asked my friend uh, why he had applied for some other foreign university before applying for gate, because for which we he had uh, prepared for a long time, uh, he said he told me that uh, if I had a seat confirmed, uh, even if I don't uh, get a seat via gate, then uh, I'll be at ease writing the exam. That's why I asked that. Okay. In, know, the backup, know the backup before uh, you know writing the exam, right? I'm sorry, your voice is actually very low, uh, so I'm not able to hear fully. No, so, uh, he asked, uh, he asked his friend got rank one this year. Oh, okay, okay, sir. Oh, so uh, he had other plan also in some foreign university and all he applied. So he asked uh, to him why you applied. He told, if I'm not going to get a good rank. It's because gate is again three hours how we do. It's not uh, mm, uh, you prepared well and there is a well result and you, your seat is fixed. So th that way, how you were sure without any backup plan, you uh, you just focus on gate. Actually, I had backup plans. So that's uh, the plan. Like uh, after, if I couldn't get good rank in gate, I wanted to prepare for ICRB and also there is UPSC exams and those. Okay. okay. So, uh, that was my backup plan. Okay. Yeah, means you had a uh, plan always to pursue further in uh, learning and then do uh, these other things. Okay. Yeah. Mm, yes, sir. Yeah. So, one more question is there in chat box. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, did you manage your final year project and get preparation? Yeah. So, I uh, did some work before starting uh, pre sincere preparation for GATE in final year project but uh, i didn't do much during the preparations and from february i worked so hard like if you uh, sar knows like uh, when he asked me to speak with you guys like one month before i told him like sir i have some project work so <laughs> i i cannot like uh, uh, just uh, talk right now so that's why it got delayed uh, the thing I, is i didn't <laughs> yeah i will add you yes, got lucky like, mentor because sri hari sir <laughs> understand the importance of gate but not many mentor I, I know mm, yes, university sir. in Bangalore, Jain University, they will put intentionally exam in January month so people do not focus on game. Oh. So uh, it's it's like very tough. I really feel, uh, felt bad when, uh, you know, college guys do such uh, stuff. They trouble unnecessary students because they, they are not able to give a core job. First of all, they take fees in lakhs. Now they don't want a student uh, to do prepare well for gate so they can uh, you know pursue their future interests. It's tough, but guys, I will suggest keep best terms with your mentor, uh, the, at least the guy under whom you do project, and convince the guy to give me enough time to prepare for gate, and after gate you show the sincerity uh, and do well for project. 
like uh, just like how we prepared i spent lot of time after gate but uh, if sir didn't tell me i wouldn't have so that's how it happened like i had a supportive mentor and uh, he allowed me to prepare for gate fully like during the uh, time and after the exam i started working like i didn't have rest after the exam also like i continued to work and luckily i got holidays recently uh, i should not say luckily like it's a pandemic uh, but still like i had free time only because of the current situation Yes. Oh, yes. Hello. Oh, yes. Hello. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I have a doubt. Like, uh, hmm. I want the guidance. Uh, like, uh, in college, they are saying uh, placement drive, and uh, we have to prepare also get. Then, uh, which we have to choose? Like, we can choose both or any one. Okay. So first okay, thing so is. Okay. So first uh, thing is. Uh, do you want to pursue an aerospace, or uh, is it fine if you go for other departments also? Because if you, and I think in. placements it is like uh, there is very less chance for getting in aerospace alone um, like if you want if you are okay with it fields i think uh, at least in my university it was like that like there was only one company for aerospace and that too in the testing department so uh, it was easy for me to avoid placements as uh, my focus was in aer- like i love aerospace that's why i took it and uh, i want to pursue further in aerospace so if you have that mindset then you have to focus fully on gate but if you uh, want to secure a job want to secure and, a uh, job you know, and, uh, okay so uh, everyone will have their situations right like people uh, uh, sometimes family will demand family situation will demand to have a quick job so at that time i think uh, it depends on you i right? have to like you know note down the points which are favorable for getting placements and points favorable for get and whichever you find it uh, to be well balanced you have to take that uh like i had my friends who had took, my friends uh, who to place us <laughs> and they got good placements also like it's a good thing placement is not bad like uh, getting a job just after btech is very good thing uh at the same time uh, gate also has its own advantage so you have to see both and you have to decide based on your own situation so people cannot exactly say like you have to do this or do that so this is yours this is yours Uh, so they will say that uh, uh, you you cannot uh, build up on your soft skills and aptitude you cannot build up your uh, interview skills if you don't opt uh, placement is that uh, true uh, nothing to worry uh, uh, nothing to worry for shaking uh, even we never had any placement also so you make sure you are you know priorities is straight you want to do higher studies you want to get in psus get is mandatory it's very simple and in aerospace there are no core job in placement and that too in private university even in iit btech nowadays they join our test series because they want to get in drd or they want to get in core company okay even core company do not hire btech even in iit is easily like ge airbus and all they want masters okay or integrated mtech guy so get is kind of necessary okay so uh, you can learn aptitude from anywhere soft skills you are not now in 12th you are uh, bec- going to become a- an engineer right so it's over the time we learn all these we do lot many mistakes while talking while uh, you know mail communication and all but keep observing other- others and uh, try to learn out of that yeah one more question siam before we wind now uh, mm, yes sir yeah when we are enough confident we sometimes don't feel like attempting the mock test so from when uh, should we go for it with full fledged uh i mean uh, you were asking about when we should start a mock test or uh... yeah that's what uh, he has written something yes oh, okay okay yeah okay so the confidence will come only if you have your own notes like first step like once you read everything then you will have enough confidence uh, but uh, i think writing mock tests before uh, having confidence is good because if you write mock tests you will get to know how the paper is and uh, what are the things that are tough 
that are easy so writing mock test is both important while starting preparation and also for ending the preparations uh, i think uh, at least you have to write at least one or two mock tests before starting to prepare so that uh, you will have some idea of what you are going to face and for what you are going to prepare doesn't uh, the mark doesn't matter in mock tests first thing like mock tests even i didn't get as much marks as i got in the final exams uh, like like first three mock tests it will surely be very less marks so don't worry about the marks for mock tests it's better if you start having mock tests in the start, early stage of preparation and uh, don't take it frequently in the early stage but taking them will give you an idea and after preparing you can get uh, good marks in mock tests uh, <clears throat> see uh, shyam with your limited uh, resources you have done great we have even topic wise mock test uh then subject wise module wise throughout year we run mock test just uh, people should get more familiar how to perform in pressure situation and i always say mm -hmm. never ever worry about marks for mock test it is more to learn not to get more marks so if that is the attitude and uh, i have observed those who really write mock test seriously they their result is better even with the limited preparation also so mm, yes sir so guys uh, be serious about always mock exam as much as yeah so any other questions or that's it sir i think that's it anyone okay i think fine so oh, okay there's an iac question so for mtech students i think uh, it is fully based on gate there is no interview uh at least for aerospace department so uh, there is one program only the M gate branch was there m tech mm -hmm. research for that they take interview yeah so that interview they, they interview uh, they take whether you have qualified gate score it's not necessary oh, it's how not to be necessary. Uh, but it will have some good weightage gate score will have one weightage and the interview will have one weightage and combined they will select the people yeah yes sir hello sir yeah hello hello uh, uh actually i have a silly doubt like uh, for uh, iatns btec also they have to write gate exam for mtec uh, there is a cgpa uh, criteria is a cgpa criteria okay if your cgpa is below 8 or something you have to go through gate otherwise they will not directly uh, give you there is a program uh, integrated mtec so there are students based on cgpa they can convert to uh, if their cgpa is not like iist trivandrum you know the isro gives jobs only if they have certain cgpa otherwise uh, you can go out and search for job so same way in iit is also uh, they have to maintain minimum cgpa to uh, convert and also for this uh, scholarship uh, mhrd provide uh, you know stipend uh for that the gate score is there requirement mm, yes, and there is a pm scholarship also if any iitian uh, want to opt for that 80000 per month uh, for a phd program integrated there also gate score is mandatory yeah i think uh, we are done so thank mm -hmm. you guys and thanks syam thanks a lot thank you so much and uh, it is really great uh, it was very nice session from my feedback and keep doing it uh, with many more people okay and sure, sir. Uh, i believe for aerospace aspirants it is the only and best opportunity so they should keep uh, their best efforts for sam and hope if they do well uh their future and country's future will be better and i will also request everyone to write higher authorities especially isro and hl where we are not getting a easy job or at least we do not have our own stream paper so write them as many as time and ask them ask your hod to write them why they are not giving aerospace engineering paper hl recruit through gate mechanical though is a nautical uh, organization so if you guys put yes, efforts uh, now the at igc we have a student throughout india uh, from many good places 
I say everyone, uh, keep doing your efforts, at least both sides, gate preparation and same time, uh, write to government authorities, write to PM, write to your uh, defense minister. We are aerospace guys. See, PM want aerospace to be increased, right? Is increasing. But we aerospace guys are getting suffered uh, for our first job in core domain. So that's where everyone has to put effort and mainly student fraternity. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Shyam. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Guys, bye. Good evening.